Today, reviewing Ben Holiday, Bottled and Bond, six year old, 100 proof on the channel next. How will it stand up? Find out. Welcome back. Today we're talking about Ben Holiday, six year old, 100 proof Missouri bottled and bond whiskey. Got this after watching, it was, the Bourbon Junkies talked about it, uh, ADHD Whiskey, actually, uh, Matt Porter talked about it first, and then Jason C. A lot of people have been talking about this. It just came here in Michigan about two months ago. This is a Missouri Strait Bourbon Whiskey. The mash bill is undisclosed, and the MSRP is about 60 bucks. It comes from floor number seven, warehouse G. DSP M05 for Missouri. It was distilled in 2016 and bottled in January 26 of 2023. It's got a really cool sticker here for the, like they called the tax sticker back in the day. There's really not much other than this. I'm trying to find the weeded and the regular bourbon to do a review on it. But I got this one here, got a little bit in the bottle, got a little bit into the history. Like I always say, what's the juice like inside? Let's get into that nose. Ooh, it's like a dark caramel leather note. A little bit of cinnamon, some baking spice, like like baking spice. That's really prevalent. That that caramel, cinnamon, and baking spice on the nose is right there. It smells really good. It's, it's like a grainy note, like a bready note. And that that baking spice is, is boom right up there in your nostrils as you can see clings to the glass it's this one's got some good legs it's like some i've done recently the legs really aren't that good but i tell you on this one the legs are pretty darn good on this looks really nice got it on the nose let's get into our first taste oh it's a thick mouthful Definitely get that spicy note. Hit some mid palate coast back. Yeah, that spicy note's there with a little bit of dry oak. Maybe uh remember they have the old school fig newtons, that bready note in a fig. But if imagine if you stuck like chopped up walnuts in it. That's what that reminds me of. It's actually really good. It kicks a little bit for a hundred proof. It's um a little proofier, surprisingly. Almost a, a Dr. Pepper, but a me, metallic Dr. Pepper. I'm going to call that on the Missouri water, but it has a, I don't want to say like a, yeah, like if you ever, this is so weird as kids, if you ever sucked on a nickel back in the day, you get that nickely, minerally, not like a copper penny, but like that note, that's what that, that first taste remind me of. Let's get into a second taste. Yeah, that cinnamon, Dr. Pepper note is still there. That spicy note is, ooh, that is actually really good. It pops, it pops right in the mouth. Mid palate back, coats. Kentucky Hug is just right here and blossoms out. That's it, it doesn't drop down. It's not really punchy hard forward. Like I said, that spicy finish, almost like a spicy spice bread you've ever had spice bread that's what that taste is like in the back of the throat the as it goes past the mid palate like right in here is it good is it worth 60 dollars yeah honestly if you can find this for 60 bucks i bet you this would make a hell of a hot toddy uh again i'm always about the fall things i like spicy stuff like rice and spicy rice and stuff like this definitely in the fall but i bet you this would also make a wicked old-fashioned you get the, the bitters in that uh, by the way, Dave, you know who you are. Thank you for my birthday gift, brother. You're awesome. I am your host, Brian. This is the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. Like I always say, find a bottle, open that bottle, enjoy the bottle, because good whiskey is always meant to be shared. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, please, below. Tell me if you've had this one, the weeded one, or the regular bourbon. Let me know what you think. I'll talk with you guys soon.